The Mindset Sports Podcast is presented to you by Mindset Sports, where we work with athletes, coaches, and sports organizations to instill belief, empower confidence, maximize potential, and achieve like never before. To learn more or schedule a complimentary coaching session, check us out at MindsetSports.life. Welcome back to the Mindset Sports Podcast. Here today with my boy, my man, Maeve the Motivator. Yeah! Yeah! We've been the last few weeks been telling my story, right, Mafe? Just uh, it's something we were going to continue today, mm-hmm. but uh, we there's been some things that have come up, so we're just going to shift. We'll get back to that next week, and mm-hmm. today we're going to talk. We're going to do the podcast on inclusion. This is something that's super. I'm super passionate about, right? And it's something that I feel like it brings value to other people. Right. For us to just kind of tell some of our stories so mm-hmm. they can hear where we're coming from. Right. And and maybe apply that to their life or or gain mm-hmm. a different perspective. Right. Right, Maeve? Mm-hmm. Right, guys. Yeah, lead leading into what we're talking about today. Man, you broke your arm last I week. I did. Yep. For the for those that have watch, let, let's get a look at that puppy. All right. It's so from right here all all the way up to my wrist. Basically, from his armpit all the way up to his wrist, he's got like three layers there. Yep. Maeve, how'd you do that? Well, this part was actually, <laughs> this part is dumb. I also work because Z actually knows about it too. Um, I actually, um, it, it, was, it was last week on a, on a, on a Tuesday night. Um, my, my, my team at, um, my team over at, over at, over at, over at, over at, over at, over at Lincoln. I was celebrating, uh, celebrating for our very, for our very, very first win of the of the year, and um, one of the one of the one of the one of the top players wanted to, to do some um some some uh, some t- some chest bumps, and I actually fell backwards on, on my actual butt, and <laughs> from my wrist here it actually snapped, and. I was like, oh, wow, okay, okay, <laughs> and and, and from from my buddy, it's like, Maeve, uh, are you uh, are you okay? Yeah, I am. So he actually helped me up, helped me up off the ground. I was so so uh, so uh, so so light so light uh, life shedding. I was green. I was pale. Um, I actually green, uh, huh? Green, yeah. I was green. I was hot and sweaty, and so I I just couldn't hardly stand. But I, I could just sit, sit down uh, at, at my locker, rest just rest just rest just a minute, and then I went out to our to our to our team trainer, and he, he actually have him take a, a look at it, and he said it is um it is. Fr- it is fractured, and okay. So he gave me in that some kind of ice pack, put on it, everything. I, I actually went upstairs to hide, to hide my dad, to feed into 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 few into a few into a few other people, and um, I was green. I was pale. I was it was hard for me to hard for me to stand, and uh, I and so I told them what happened, and they were laughing at me. How I did that. <laughs> you you know, Maeve, you're such a motivator, man, and you like right. to get in on the fun. So, mm-hmm. you know, the yeah. flying chest bumps. And I said this to you before. I got to tell the listeners this. Maeve's one of the best managers of all time. I've gotten right. experience. Maeve as a manager, if you've listened to past episodes. Mm-hmm. If you as a manager are going to go down, you got to yeah. go down doing a flying chest bump. I mean, right. that's, that's the way you got to go down. So right. mm-hmm. at least... At least you broke your wrist, taking a yeah. taking a risk, you know, really celebrating high first class. Right, right. So that's now, hard. That's hard. But like for me, uh, on it was on. So that was on Tuesday. I went to the. Uh, I went to a. I went to a to urgent care on 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 was the morning. It's about it's about nine o'clock, ten o'clock. Well, I went over there. And do to do a some do a X ray, and I found out 
this, this part is sad right here that I'm gonna say it now. From that, from, from that, from, uh, from that nurse said, it is broken. I just cried right there. Like, wow, it's it's broken. It, it's a, it's a, for me, it's my, 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 uh, my second bone that I actually broken. Uh, be, before I actually broken my ankle back in, back in 2011. So, I hate to hear, man, but like I told you, the beauty of the bones is yep. is, is they'll heal. Right. Sometimes, sometimes people really do bad work to their to their bones, but right. you're you're just gonna heal up, man. I know. Now it is. the change for you though has been you haven't been able to do a lot of the things that you normally do, like cook your own lunch, cook your own supper, yeah, do your laundry. Uh, yeah. go, go to your, you know, your job at Lincoln basketball, your job at the governor's office. It's right. really shifted your, what yeah. you're capable of doing. Right. 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 Which, which has kind of made you sad. Right. Yes. And that kind of leads me into what we're talking about today with inclusion. Right. Because inclusion, and I'm, I'm going to go ahead and just read off a definition here that just for you listeners to see where I'm coming from. Inclusion, the practice or policy of providing equal access to opportunities and resources for people who might otherwise be excluded or marginalized, such as those who have physical or mental disabilities and members of other minority groups. Right. And so, you know, may if you right now have mm -hmm. battled your whole life. Right having having difficulties ahead of you and and being able to be included right but you've also been very blessed right. in your life with being mm -hmm. included right well the la in the last 24 to 48 hours you and i have both heard about something that's kind of stirred up some emotions in in yes. both of us right when it when it comes to inclusion uh and we don't have the full story on all of it so we're just going to talk inclusion today right because mm -hmm. it it, uh, it impacts people in in many different ways, the the people that are being included, right, and the people that are including, right, and 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 this kind of like the balance in the circle of life of of togetherness and, and mm -hmm. learning and and getting a new perspective, right, is so important. So for me, Maeve, and I've told you this before, and it's important for the listeners to know. Right. You know, we all have a background of where we come from and what right. we've been through, mm -hmm. what we've experienced. Right. Mm -hmm. I grew up in a small Catholic school right. where I was able to go. And then my Catholic school went through eighth grade. It, it, I was able to go to school with a, with a young lady named Sarah who had Down syndrome. Oh, wow. From. I believe it's pre-K, pre-K or kindergarten, all the way through even when I got to public school in junior high and in eighth grade and high or senior year of high school, all the way through. Right. Mm -hmm. And I learned so much from her. I, I, I really did. And I, you know me, May, if I have a heart for people and I We're love to learn from other people and I love mm -hmm. to hear what other people have to say and their opinions and try to understand and be empathetic. I learned a lot of, about that from Sarah. Right. And so I, I had my 20 year class reunion. I graduated high school in 2001. Wow. About a month ago. And I hadn't talked to Sarah in a really long time, probably right. since I moved away from Hannibal wow. many, many years ago. Wow. And I ran into her at the Folklife Festival. And it worked out to where she came and sat next to Gayla and I at our 20 year class reunion. Oh, wow. And it was so good to see her and, and it brought back memories right? because she gifted me mm -hmm. with an understanding of inclusion, right, coach. of mm -hmm. what it means and what she has to offer me and what I have to offer her and the whole gambit, everything. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. So when I got to Helias and this, you know, we've told some of these stories before and in, in different pieces. When I right. got to Helias and met you, we kind of connected right. right away. Yes, we did. Yep. So we became boys and mm -hmm. over time we've become, you've become one of my best friends and right. And I become one of yours. Right. Coach. And you know, your ability, your gift is, I mean, you make people feel good about themselves. 
River Rat Coach, yep. And you're funny and you're outgoing and I mean, you just have a lot to offer. Right. And I think the, the listeners have been able to see that. So we've had guests like Brian Jackson, yep. Rocky Sickman, Darion mm-hmm. Cockrell. Yep. You know, these, these guests that we've had, they become your new friends. Like they want to yep. be your friend. Right. Like, man, Mafe, I want to be your friend. Right. When you right. broke your arm, yes. did you get texts from those guys? Was, I did actually, yeah, from a, from a, from a, from a, from a, from Brian, uh, from a, 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 from Mr. Uh, Mr. DC, those two guys. Wow, I I can I can I can hardly talk about it right now because how cool is it? How so cool uh, that people reach out to me and uh, from uh, from coach from coach from coach D to this I mentioned. He gave them my actual phone number. They texted me. Um, it's so cool. To have those guys a part a part of a huge part of my life, and I am I'm 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 super thankful. And Brian, he Brian even called you, I think. Yeah, he did actually. I, I um for me constantly, I get phone calls from all over all over the, <laughs> the state, and uh, and so some of the numbers I don't know who they are. Uh. And, and so I so I so I. So, I, so as Brian called me, I didn't know who it was, so I didn't answer it. But he actually texted me and told me it's it's Brian, and I was I saw that text from from Brian. I went from I went from smiling and started and started and started, and started, and started crying. How much did he poured out to me from my first interview that I had with Brian. Um. You're such an emotional guy, Maeve. Yeah. <laughs> so Brian, even the 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 cool thing about you know we're talking inclusion here, right? Brian called me about halfway through the episodes that we did with you, and you right. know Brian has been through some Sometimes. unbelievable things in his life. Oh, yeah. Right. Right. He calls me and he says, "Hey, Brad, you know I really I've really loved getting to know Maeve." Right. Because I have never been around anyone with Down syndrome before and I didn't wow. know what it was like. And and mm-hmm. so for me, I didn't know what to expect. Right, coach. But I love that. Now he he'll call me like every couple of weeks asking how Maeve's doing. But now he has your phone number, so right. He'll he'll probably connect connect with you directly. Right. You know, just wanting to know he he knows Maeve shared with him that he Maeve wants to be a speaker. Right. Right? You shared mm-hmm. that with him. So I did. So he's he's coming up with ideas to help Maeve continue to get better, whether that be joining a Toastmasters. And these are the relationships that are built right. through through inclusion. Mm-hmm. Right. He he got to learn something from not only, you know, we asked him to be on our podcast. Mm-hmm. I asked him right. to share. He didn't know he was going to get to meet a new friend. Right. And now now there's a there's a bond there right. because he, you know, M- Brian, he understands. Right. He understands what it's like to not be included. He's a he's a he's a he's a rock star to me. He uh, is because he's been through a lot, you know, through all, over the years and <laughs> with his with his with his dad doing a lot of doing a, a lot of stupid things. Yeah, but now he's doing better. He's speaking. He is coaching. I I can't believe it how from him. He's he's bouncing back from that, and I am I am su- I'm super impressed. I want to shift here to a different, different, a little bit different story. So I talked about Sarah, right? Right. I mm-hmm. talked about how inclusion started in my life and how right. it became important to me. And you know this, May when I back when I was an activities athletic activities director, right. Even when it, in in the schools, I wanted all kids to be included or feel a part of something. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, you had that with your your managerial skills in basketball, football, and baseball. Right. right. You know, we started bass fishing. We started 
you know, there was an archery program. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of cool things that we started so that right. our, our young mm -hmm. people trap shooting, our young people had, had things to do that, that right. they liked and they felt included in because everybody mm -hmm. wants to, to feel included in a part of something. Right. Coach. And, and, it, and the, the benefits go both ways. Right. For the includer mm -hmm. and the includee. I mean, they go right. both ways. Mm -hmm. Back when you were in high school, Maeve, and right, we've told this story with your parents at the beginning. Right. You you went to a Catholic school that didn't have the accommodations that you needed for right. for yourself. Mm -hmm. But right. your parents more or less wanted to keep you with a group of students and they wanted you to be able to have those social interactions and be a part of the school community. Right. It was really difficult. It was really challenging. But right. in the end, it worked out. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, Hale Hinches was a guest on our live show not too long ago. Right. Probably as far as the, you know, one of the most decorated athletes from this school. Right. He, he played in the NFL. Right. And what happened after we, we met up when he came to town? He went to go out to eat had some fun with me and I, i've seen him forever and uh it was so cool to see to see him again um take him take him up to my take him up to my to my to my favorite to my favorite place uh patty's patty malone's um we get to hang out with them get to eat and i i i also took him up to, to the to our state capital to get to give him a tour and Take him up to the top, to the top of the capital, to the dome. This kid, this kid is amazing. Um, his, uh, his, his dad, his mom, his, and also his grandpa, his grandpa, his grandpa Ray. His, he's a one of the uh, one of the most uh, available coaches I ever met because he is a a legend from Hawaii, and I am. Super, I'm super. I'm super impressed. Yeah, and this goes back, and because there's challenges, right? There's challenges involved in, in inclusion, mm -hmm. and what it takes is people working together. Right. It takes perspective. It takes understanding. Mm -hmm. It takes difficult conversations, long conversation. It right. takes a plan. It takes mm -hmm. people being prepared. It takes executing that plan, and then it right. takes learning. So that you can shift and adjust and reevaluate and continue to get better. Right. So there's a lot of things that have to happen and there's a, there's a learning curve and there's a learning process. Mm -hmm. Right. And sometimes, you know, when we talk about inclusion, there, there, there's certain accommodations that can't be met. Right. But, but how do you come up with a plan to make sure that those are met and it may be a different way. Right. Coach. And for, for you going into your junior or your senior year, there mm -hmm. was a conversation that you may not get to come back for your senior year. Right. Mm -hmm. And there were some people. And again, this goes back to talking about Brian Jackson. Yeah. Being able to understand what it's like to not be included. Right. You know, putting, putting yourself in the shoes of another. Right. And, 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 and trying to walk a mile in their shoes and just gain an understanding so that you can, you can mm -hmm. have a perspective and you can, right. you can maybe be a little empathetic. Mm -hmm. Well, there was a couple individuals that stepped up and, right. and, and you were allowed to finish your senior year, whereas right. the school wasn't going to allow you. There was, there was a, right. there was a different plan for you to go somewhere else, right. which would have crushed you. Yes. Oh, yeah. It, it, it would have crushed you. Right. right. Um, it crushed you when you eventually did leave. Right. Right. It, heck, it crushed me when I left. Right. And, and, and that's 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 your love for for a place. It's a, it's your love for the people in it. Right. It's your love for what it stands for. Mm -hmm. and, and that it means a lot to someone. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, sitting here talking, talking inclusion. I know and I, I probably have 100 to 200 people in my phone that I could contact right, right. now. I could text or call and you know how it is. You don't always hear back from people. Right. And and ask for a conversation about them, you with them. Right. And, and they will tell me how you impacted their life. 
Right, coach. Yep. And and that's what inclusion did. And and the, they impacted your life too, like your best buddy Brock Gerstner. Yeah. You know the the boys yeah. that we had on 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 the podcast. Right, right, coach. It's so important for us to to have these experiences because it's what allows us to understand. We're right. living in we're living in a world right now where we're so divided by our own ideas and our mm -hmm. own our own beliefs what we believe is right and what we right. believe is wrong, what we believe sh should happen and shouldn't happen. Right, coach. And we're missing out. Mm -hmm. We're all missing right. out because really what we need is each other and we need right. conversations and we need working together and we need understanding mm -hmm. because listen, if we all had it the way we want it all the time, then how would we learn? How would right. we grow? How would we learn and grow from, from those situations, Maeve? If everything, okay. if you always had everything you wanted, you'd be a, a, a spoiled and tiled dude, just like right. I would, wouldn't you? Wouldn't we? Right. Yep. You know, you're having to go through something right now with your broken arm. R right, coach. It's difficult. It's challenging. You have to suffer. Brian Jackson said it best. You have to suffer well. Right. Because that suffering is what's going to, if you suffer well and learn from it, that's what's going to make you better. Right. Right, Maeve? Uh -huh. Yep. What do you think, brother? Coach, this is this 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 show this morning is amazing. Um, talk talk about me from my uh, broken arm. Um, talk about me and uh me kind of in, in general uh, about uh, about a lot of stuff that that me that me and that me and coach. You guys say the word out. inclusion. And, 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 and inclusion um it's hard to, it's, it's, it's hard to it, it, it's hard for me to see other kids to actually struggle and like me and, and if like for this for there's few others who have struggled but for me i have i have went to school that had a um had a, a very nice um special needs program um, a school I went to, uh, St. Peter, who had a, a book wide program. Um, they have taught me a lot. Um, one on one, but with with these teachers, like for me, I, I got, I got, I got, I got, um, I got, I got actually, actually pulled out, of, pulled out of classes and to get on to get. Ooh, but, but I won. But, but some teachers is gonna help me out, and for, for for kids like me, they should get that, and to have to have these teachers help them teach them set set teach them science, social studies, um, m m math, um, and also and also for them to for them to actually read a book. These teachers from these Bosonese program, they have taught a lot of great kids, like me, and also for my friend, who I, how do I contact who I that I've been with for a long time, who is struggling now, and so yeah. it's it's hard to see that, and I know that like for a back in back in back in high school, the that for Coach D I mentioned. Um, that they have a special needs program now that me and Coach G actually actually yeah, helped start that program, and I am super um impressed how they did that, and so now, Coach, um, to talk about this now it, 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 it is amazing. Well, let's talk a little bit about that. You know, at first I want to tell the listeners. So we're all lifelong learners, right? We can all personally develop and grow. Mm -hmm. And there may be limits to some of us, you know, physically, mentally, there may be limits to some of us based on disabilities that, that we have, right? Right. Okay. I have a cousin with a Cardi syndrome. She is nonverbal. Wow. Her mother's a teacher, unbelievable person. Right. Um, she lost her mom early on, just like I did. Right. You know, we, we all go through trials and tribulations. Right. But her and her husband, the parents they are to my cousin, Mm -hmm. And in the pictures, I don't get to see her a lot right. because we're all spread out. Right. But the pictures, I guarantee you, if we brought her on here, 
here, she would talk about how she's personally learned and grown, but she's nonverbal. Right. But people have to understand you have to be able to to dive in and you have to be able to really connect right. with what's going on and what's really, really important and how it can not only impact that person, but how it can impact you because there's right. you always got to find the win wins. Right. So, so let's talk about let's talk about that that program at the school we were at. Yeah. Um, I, I'll tell a story here. When when I was hired to be the activities athletic director at this school, and we'll talk right. more about it when I get back into my story, I was 29 years old. Right. And I was on fire. I was excited for for growing. I was excited. For, right. Oh, man, I just loved it. I love what I was doing. Mm-hmm. One of my like first it. meetings, I got a phone call from from a good friend of mine, uh, Eddie Mo. You know Eddie oh, Mo. Oh yeah, yes I do. Yep. Guy guy calls me up, and says, "Hey, I need you to come to a meeting and represent represent the school." And I'm like, right. "Well, what's the meeting about?" And he doesn't really give me. You're you're gonna you're gonna like you need to be there. You need to be there. Right. And you know Eddie Eddie knew me. Eddie knew my heart. Right. And uh, I guess these conversations had been going on for a long time, right. on and off. And mm-hmm. I know Eddie was a driver of the bus. There's multiple people in the community that were a driver that wanted to see a, you know, at this inner parish Catholic high school, wanted to see a special education program or an accommodations right. program. Yep. So I go sit down at this table at one of our local Catholic schools, and there's some unhappy people there, Mafe. I know. They have know daughters and granddaughters that that have um, that need special services. Right. Um, in order to get through the school, they, they need things that, that you didn't even get when you were at the school. Right. Coach, and yeah. uh, we're getting blasted. This the school. Uh, we're getting blasted really hard. And I'm, right. I'm sitting there. I'm taking it all in. I'm taking notes. And I'm like, you know, I even made a joke. I'm like, hey, guys, I'm new. Right. So, so please take it easy on me. And it kind of brought some laughter. But in the end, and right. in, in knowing me, because um, I'm a doer. And I believe it's right. important for people to be doers. May if you're a right. doer, mm-hmm. right. I stood up and I said, look, uh, I'm going to do everything I can to make this happen. Right. Um, I can't make promises, mm-hmm. but so I contacted the president of the school was a priest. Yep. Um, who, who has a great heart. Right. I contacted him. I, I told him uh, what I had heard, what I felt about the situation. Obviously, right. Maeve, Going back to my include, you know how I was introduced to inclusion, right. where Sarah was a part of my Catholic school growing up. Right. Mm-hmm. I was able to share with him. Look, man, this is important for all of these kids. Right. Look, look at what uh, Elijah Mayfield did. Mayf, my boy, Mayf the motivator, yep. Yep. trailblazed. So he trailblazed a path, right? A, a path to provide opportunities to more people in the community, because ultimately right. that's what you want to do. You you want to, you know. The end destination for us all, for all of right. us that are Christians, right. the end destination is with Jesus. Right, Coach. Yeah. Right. Everything that happens in between is how we treat each other. Right. How we how we learn to forgive, how we right. learn how we learn to grow. Right, Coach. Right. How we try to have an impact on other people's lives, how we support our friends and family members. Right. Mm-hmm. That's everything that happens in between on the way to our destination is important. And every right. single human being mm-hmm. in that interaction is important. Right. Coach. And and so for me, I, I shared my, my views and my values. And he said, well, let's do something about it. Right. Him and I start traveling around to schools that have these programs. Right. And the next thing that, that you know, we know is, you know, we hire a principal that yeah. had, had a background in, in public schools and, we, right. we didn't hire an accommodations coordinator. And the next thing you know, there's a whole wing of the school that gets renovated as a part of, of a capital campaign um, right. that the school was going through. So it was like, mm-hmm. it was God, it was God in motion, Maeve. Right. Yep. It, it, it was awesome. And, and I really feel like um, the people that laid the groundwork for those conversations of all the years. Right. And then that, that, that ability for me to sit at that table and, and take mm-hmm. my heart and what I believe in. And right. take it to a leader that was ready to take action, right? And and you trailblazing the way in that school mm-hmm. because they, you know, the school had never experienced anyone with with your capabilities, Mayf. Right, coach. Yep. Right, and your capabilities mm-hmm. were a little are a little different 
than, than some of our others. You bring a different perspective on right. things, right? Mm -hmm. It wasn't that. as easy for you to sit through a math, math class as maybe some of the other students who understood what was going on. Right. But you did it, didn't you? Uh huh. Yeah. And, and, and you showed up to the games and you did the cheers and you, you, you built relationships that last a lifetime. Right. Yeah. You had experiences because when we still talk about the school, right. You brighten up, don't you? So, so I do. Yes. I, I, I give for me personally, coach, I, I actually want to say this. I thank God every day to, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to allow me to, to attend, to attend Elias. And I, and I, and I, I played every day and tell me God has, has chosen to you to attend Elias to, and I did. And I said I'd fly, and um, for me to be the to be, for me to be to be the manager, um, was so cool to be part uh, to be part of the school, um, to be part for these teams, um, super fun. I I have credit to to these to uh, to all to all to all, to all of these coaches who have to reach out to me to to to, to, to be the manager, Coach Buff, Coach. Good pits, good work, good work. They actually, they actually got me away to be the manager. I'm, I'm super credit. And also, for the school, they actually loved me. These these kids that I've been with since, uh, since, 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 since kindergarten, they, they, they actually wanted me there at Elias, and I did. And for the school, I love it. You know, for me, doing all the Cheers! Um, to just actually dive into the dive into the to the to the, to the, <laughs> to the, to the students, to the students, the, for the students. Check crowd in. surfing. Crowd surfing. I love hey it. man, you know you, I'm surprised you didn't break your wrist crowd surfing before. Right. <laughs> right. You see, so you really did have some people that loved you because they didn't drop you. Right. It took right. it took a flying chest bump for you to break your arm. Right. But I love you know, Maeve, you had such a great experience. And, right. and you and you realize and you know how blessed you are, mm -hmm. and I and I and I love that about you. And for mm -hmm. me, um, all of my experiences at the school weren't weren't great, right? But uh, when when you pour your heart and soul into something, right? You you that means a lot to you, right, coach? Yeah, and you yeah, never forget does. that. And and right. it, it it gave me a an opportunity to personally learn and grow. Mm -hmm. And I had to go through a lot of downtime. Uh, loss of confidence on, you know, the, the whole part of, it's just a part of life, but it ultimately, you know, having been an administrator, having been a teacher, having been a coach, right. My understanding is you, you have to take all the facts, right. You know, and, and I, I learned this the hard way a few times, mm -hmm. you can come up with all of the reasons in the world to make a decision. Right. Coach. Yeah. But, but that doesn't make it the right decision. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. There there has to be steps along the way. There has to right. be a process put in place. You have to make a plan. Right. Um, you can't just make a make a rash, impulsive de decision. Mm -hmm. You right. you can't uh, drag a decision out. Right. But there has to be conversations and there has to be understanding. And it takes multiple parties um, right. to try to find find the right answer, to try to right. find yes. what works and mm -hmm. what doesn't work and in the end if something doesn't work and it's not in the best interest of uh, of the per the people involved then right. then then that has to be the conclusion for everyone mm -hmm. um and so uh it, it 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 takes you know it takes those conversations and it takes the the understanding and the empathy and it takes um the challenges, because there's challenges, Mafe. There a lot of times when decisions are made, Mafe, like the decision that was being made for you. Right. To not to not come back your senior year. Right. The, you know, there was this those decisions, those conversations that were had were probably difficult for those people knowing that they weren't able to accommodate your needs. Right. But we say this all the time at mindset sports. It's not right. if you can or can't you, can. you can't. It's if you will or you won't. It's not if you can or you can't. It's if you will or you won't. So you have to find a way where you will. You have to find right. a way where you will, and you have to benef make sure it benefits everyone uh, to the best of your ability. And and look how it turned out for you. 
right. and the hundreds of kids and the thousands of people, mm -hmm. I would venture to say, Maeve, and I'm not trying to pump you up because you don't need it. <laughs> right. You don't need it, man. But I would venture to say that you're one of the most recognized faces in the Jefferson City community. Thank you, Coach. And that comes that that not only comes from your gift that you have, but right. it came it came from the opportunities that were provided for you that that haven't always been provided for everyone else. Right. And that's why you're a living, breathing example of why inclusion is so important. Right, Coach. Heck, man, that's why you're on the Mindset Sports Podcast. You right. you bring a whole, totally different perspective right, than coach. than I do. Right. Um, we don't think the same, we think differently, but right. you believe a totally different perspective right. and the impact that you have, not on only our listeners, but right. our guests, right? I'm telling the listeners right now, every guest we have walks away with a new friend in Maif. Yes. Elijah Mayfield. And not only do they say they're his friend, they reach out to him. Right. They tell me about how great he is and how much they learn from him and right. how they make, how Maif makes them feel good. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, just wanted to come on today, tell a few stories, talk right. about the power of inclusion. Yeah, power of, of inclusion, yep. It's not going to be easy. Nope. It's going to be challenging. Right. There's going to be just like anything else in life, there's going to be times where you think you, you, you can't do it or you want to give up or you're not sure what to do next. Right. And there's always people and there's always more resources out there and there's always um, great people. You just have to find right. them. You have to reach out to them. Right. And, and you have to find a way to make it work. Right. And not, not, we're not talking about duct taping things together and patching together. We're talking about building a plan, uh, being prepared and executing that plan, right. learning from it and continuing to grow. Because yes. when you do that, everybody wins. Right. Everybody wins. If, if things were easy all the time. Right. Which we live in a world where we we want we want instant gratification. Right. We want things handed to us right away. We want to be able to to just make a decision to make right. things work the way we want it to work. Mm -hmm. um, you know, if we're doing that from a leadership perspective, what example are we setting? Right, coach. For the people that are watching. Right. Like, and, for, like, like for me, coach. I just want to steal this. So this morning we we are talking about. It's about 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 something new. Um, called a uh, called a uh, called inclusion. It's like for for kids like me, and for like for like me, I have a friend who has Downs who's struggling. But you can have faith and faith and kids who have it who have who has Downs. Have faith in kids like me. And if you have faith. And the kids like me, because these kids like me who have Down syndrome, they don't stick that right, right in a way. It's not, it's not, it's not just about you. It's about, it's about, it's about for yourself, for your family. These kids with Down syndrome, like for me, I never let. Down syndrome get in my way. I'm the kid who comes out there to help to m help to help m motivate these 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 players on the uh, basketball court, the, 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 the players on the football field, it's about the kids who play baseball on the baseball field. I help to motivate them. But since, since, since today, talking about a word called 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 an inclusion. Have faith in these players. Have faith for kids who have the who have Down syndrome. See, or I'm, or other disabilities, right, May? Or other disabilities. Yeah. It, it, it's it, it's not about kids who have Down syndrome. It's about uh, it's about these about these about these other kids who have who who have some kind of some kind of a so to have a have a disability. If you if you have a friend, or a cousin, or somebody who has that syndrome, please 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 reach out to me. Please reach out to me, or, or 
to reach out to my to to my, to my host because if you are if you if you have a kid who has such needs, who is part of a program, who is is a player for the Special Olympics, who is struggling out there like that, reach out to reach out to reach out to my host that that we can we we will do that we can put you put you on this podcast and talk about about the special uh, special Olympics. Because we, if you, we have some big things coming up, don't we, Maeve? Yes, we do. We have some big things coming up. Working with uh, working with some some athletes that are going to the to the games this summer. Right. Yeah, and that's exciting times. And you know, it just we're gonna have to wrap this one up, Maeve, the yes, motivator. Yeah. But ultimately, um, you know, weigh your conscience. Work. Fi- figure out what works best, and and right. in the in the end, Maeve, I, I think it's 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 all about it's all about learning. It's right. all about learning from from each other. It's about being open to learn. You know, I gave the the definition of inclusion at the beginning of the episode. Yes, you you're you're a, a living, breathing example of 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 for me what it means, and in the hardships and the difficulties. Go back to the early episodes with Maeve parents where we tell his story. Um, Maeve, man, when you ten years ago when we met, you were one of the honoriest dudes ever. <laughs> All right, you, you you just were. Right, and the the um, the people, the mm-hmm. teachers that you sat in their classes and the coaches and whatever, you know, d- body boy doggy handling you, man. I know, but wasn't know. easy. No, was it? No, was it at all? Like for me, like I, I got a teacher, um, who was part of the of the of that program for this for the for kids like me who have to have special needs. Her name, her name was a uh, her name was a uh, was a uh, was was a uh, was a uh, was a uh, uh, I can remember her name now. Miss Mrs 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 Bird. She ha- she helped me out a lot and helped to so for kids that to get to, to get to get pulled out of classes. And to and to help to teach them math or teach them to read or to just spell out words. There's 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 people like like that around around uh, around around schools. If you are if you are if you are if you are, if you are struggling in a, in a in a school, and for you have special needs, reach out to a, to, to the to the reach out to your principal. Reach out to your to your to your to your counselor. They can help you to to help you to help you to uh, help you to have to get you get you get you those the those needs. So they can help you. Awesome. Talk, talk to your to your counselor. Talk to talk to someone who can, who can help you. I love it. I love it, Maeve. I love you, brother. I love you, buddy. I just hope, you know, for you listeners or you viewers that you can just see the, you know, Mayf and I's relationship. Right. It's true. We text, we talk daily. Yep. He, he fills me up. He helps right. me a lot. Right. And, and I, and I know that I do the same, you know, and Mayf, mm-hmm. we drive each other nuts sometimes too, don't yes, we? Yes, we do. Yes, and we that's, do. you know, that's kind of part of, that's a part of the deal. That's relationships. Uh, for those of you that are in any type of relationship, whether it be uh, you have children or with with a spouse or with a brother or sister or a mom or a dad, whatever it may be, it takes work. Right. It takes work. It takes investment on both mm-hmm. parties. Right. In order for trust to be built and for that relationship to grow. Right. Um, it's you know we complicate everything, but it's really pretty simple, Maeve. Right, coach. And uh, man, I, I appreciate all that you've shared today. Like on, on the top of uh, topic of inclusion, inclusion uh, yeah. listeners, as always, God bless you. God bless your loved ones during this holiday season. We love all of you. If you ever have any questions, you're interested in having Maeve and I come speak, whatever it may be, oh, there, yes. there's a lot yep. of things that we can do um, to provide value to your organization, your school, whatever it may be. Right. And, and we're ready. We're, we're gearing up. We're getting ready for that in 2022. Right, Maeve? Yes, yes we are. I, I can't wait. So we are, me and you, we are going to get more 
to get more famous out there and to help <laughs> to, to, to actually help us out for the My Test Sports Podcast. Mate, if you know I don't care about getting famous. You know, ultimately for me is uh, one person at a time. How can we help one person at a time? Right. How can we maybe give someone uh, a little motivation? Uh, right maybe an opportunity to grow, an opportunity to personally develop themselves. And, right. And that's what we want, and that's what we're here for, right, Maeve? Right, yeah. So I can't wait for it to get out, out there back, back in January of, 20, of 2022 to get out there to talk to these, talk to these kids out in high school across the state. They, they, they need more people to go out and speak, more people to have a have a pep assembly, because for some uh, for some of his kids out there, they didn't have the same have the same experience like what like what like what like what I had, or from or from Coach D had. We want to help you, please. Yeah, and I I'll leave it with this. I'll leave it with this, Maeve. All right. The goal ultimately. We said what the destination is for us Christians, you right. know, mm-hmm. people of other religions, they, they should know their destination, what they want their destination to be. But for, for us, we know we want it to be with Jesus. Right. Right. Everything mm-hmm. in between is about maximizing your potential right. and maximizing your experiences mm-hmm. throughout your life. Right. All right. And so for teachers and coaches and parents, how can you help maximize the potential and the experiences of our young people. Ask yourself that question every day. Yes. And go out there and do everything you can to help improve the environment and to help people learn and grow. I'll leave it with that. All right? All right. All right. It's been a long one. We love you guys. God bless again. Maeve, we'll talk to you soon. Listeners, stay with us. We'll be back next week. All right, guys. Bye.